Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Frugal McGee. Today we're playing more Tecmo Super Bowl, our Bengals season. So first things first, let's take a quick look at our guys, and I've already made some adjustments. So, Boomer Esiason's average, good enough for me. James Brooks is average, that's good news, because he's about all I got as far as a running game. Harold Green is average, that's fine. Tim McGee's excellent, so there's that. Uh, 69 receptions, that's pretty good. 63 ball control, perfect. Rushing power, 81, max speed, 44, very good. Mike Barber is in good shape. He's kind of slow, but a 50 receptions rating and a 56 ball control is pretty good. I'm not going to complain too much. And Rodney Holman, another good good uh, player here. Max speed, 38. A little bit faster. Good reception with 56. Rushing power, 69. Hitting power, 69. Very solid tight end. And then we've got Mike Barber to receive. Now, a couple of y'all, one of y'all said I should get Icky Woods. To get some kick returns and another one said Jennings um and I'm trying to remember if you said Icky Woods I think you said was it just kick returns or just punt returns I'll have to look at it again but right now they're both injured so it doesn't really make a difference right this minute I'll look back at the comments and and I check that out again but uh at any rate we're gonna play around with Icky Woods uh oh here he is I'll be able to plug him in we'll we'll put him in as both spots and we'll see which one works better Oh, and we're playing the Oilers, too, by the way. As many of y'all know, is my favorite team on this. Because I'm a Houston fan. Can't help it. All right. Bengals are wearing their awesome orange and black jerseys that I love. The first game, we had to use our white jerseys. Which is fine, but I love the orange and black. It looks sleek as hell. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Hope you're looking forward to this one. I know I am. I always like to play against these Oilers. They're a tough team. The Oilers playbook's pretty good. Um, yeah, actually, I like all of those pass plays. All right. Second and eight. I think it was Fulchers are good. Safety. Third and eight. Here we come. Got the pick. Oh, man, almost brought it all the way back. I'm going to use some curls. I love my curls. Take you, Woods, and an easy touchdown there. I'm glad we were able to pick off Warren Moon. That's not an easy feat. Well, now I want to see if we can get another one. I think I'm going to keep calling the down B, which is the XY bomb play they like. It's a dangerous play. But I'll keep calling that and keep running with Fulcher. And if I don't see a shotgun, then I'm going to swap to my... There, they're calling it again. Okay. Second 21. They didn't call it that time. I'm going to switch to Francis this time. Had a lot of open receivers. Okay, they called their uh the right B play. Oh, big catch from Drew Hill. Uh oh, Lorenzo's gonna get away. Okay. All right, we called it that time. Oh, man, I wanted that pick. All right, minute 16 left. Ooh, I was close. 
All right, looks like they're going to have to settle for a field goal. That's a big win. I think that's going to be good. All right, they're on the board. 7-3. Yeah, another comment commenter had uh, mentioned using my, uh, my safety, Fulcher. more along with Francis. So I'm going to try to do that. Tim McGee's still excellent. Eddie Brown. Oh, that's right. We got it. We were using Mike Barber. Holman's average. Okay. We're going to swap. Uh, we're going to put Icky Woods in there. I'm just going to put him in in both spots. I can't remember if you said kick return or punt return. I apologize. All right, Mike Barber with the catch. Didn't have done it. I got to work on that. Wide open receiver hanging out with the water boy. Ooh, Fulcher just laid out Lorenzo. I might just hang like this for a while. Fourth and five. All right, Icky. I'm pretty sure it was punt return, you said, now that I'm looking at it. Ooh, and that hitting power. Man, up to midfield. Beautiful return. Okay. You don't have to comment now. I figured it out. I wonder how he is on kick returns. This is going to be a long bomb here. So, Mike Barber. Touchdown. Early in the season, you can get away with stuff like that. You don't get all those long passes later on. Sometimes. Sometimes the game throws you a bone. Well, we're off to a good start. 14-3. Not quite at halftime, but hopefully we'll make it without them improving their score. Oh, man. Thought my hitting power was good enough to knock him down. No. Can we catch Lorenzo, please? Well, we caught him at the seven. That's not great. Okay, new plan. Use Fulcher. Ooh, Orn Moon takes a hit. I called it. Kind of a crazy play call, but I'm calling plays like the computer seems to think. Doesn't have to make any sense. Ooh, sack. We're still going to get a field goal, though. They might miss it. Ooh, you think he might have missed it. Indeed he did. I thought I could sneak by. Almost. Still 14-3. That's good. Let's see what Icky Woods can do with a kick return.
Oh man, that one oiler came flying in. I had all those guys figured out, but that other dude flew in and messed me up. All right. Three yard gain. I think that was Ray Childress wanting a piece of me, so. I didn't want to give it to him. To Tim McGee. Oh, man. Almost snuck away. This will be an easy one to Mike Barber. Right here up the middle. Do a curling route. Whoa, almost got hit. And just like that, 21-3. Come on, Oilers. I expected more. I expected them to get a touchdown by now. What's the deal, Oilers? Man, he's got so many blockers. There we go. <laughs> I couldn't, couldn't risk getting knocked out of the play. Very nice. Second and eight. Vulture's fast, man. Ooh, he's quick. Oh, no. The auto dive. No. I'm on him. Oh, he still caught it? Ernest Givens is good, though. All, all of the uh, Oilers receivers have such a high reception rating. Ernest Givens, Haywood Jeffries, Drew Hill. Curtis Duncan's pretty good, too. But they all have really good uh, reception rating. Lorenzo! And they are moving the ball methodically. They're almost saying, how dare you question us and our football playing ability, I called it, by the way. I will say I haven't only been calling that one, but I, I've been calling it fairly often. I probably should call up, uh, up B a little bit more often, though. Oops. Oh, still caught him. But first down. Okay. Let's see. That's one stop. Oh, he got me. <laughs> I was trying to guard the middle. But I knew if they ran that play, they'd probably get it. I was trying to go nose tackle and just kind of clog them in the middle, but they were hip to my tricks. Just take it out. Just take it out. Man, they've been really doing a good job holding me back from scoring more points. See, give them a little kudos, and we'll change that real fast. At the touchdown. Big touchdown for Tim McGee. I just got to get a handle on this Bengal defense. I think that's that's my biggest problem right now is I got to figure out how I'm going to defeat teams. It's really not a problem. 
Haha, uh -huh. called up B. I called it again. I think that's what they're playing. Nope, they're running. Oh. That's a good up B play. Fourth and seventeen. Whoa, long ball to Drew Hill. Didn't quite get there. To Icky Woods. And there's another quick touchdown. Holding the Oilers down only 10 points is pretty good. I'll actually accept that. It's about like holding the Niners down to 10 points. Both of these teams have a really strong offense. Or both of those teams, I mean. Oilers and the Niners. Like, super strong offense. Of course, the Niners also have an amazing defense, too. So, the Oilers' defense is pretty good, but... I mean, come on. You know that those DBs for the Niners are just insane. Oilers have Richard Johnson. He's really good, but Niners have what? Waymer. They've got Ronnie Lott. And they've got another guy. I keep forgetting his name. Warren kept it. Uh, I'm gonna go with Francis this time. Third and six. 23 seconds left. This one's over, but... Oh, man. He's going to score, isn't he? No. <laughs> One more touchdown for the Oilers. So I didn't hold them to 10. They got to... Well, they'll get to 17. Touche, Oilers. Touche. On this game, the Oilers are the better team. The Bengals are pretty good. From what I see. Take Boomer out. Do not risk Boomer. So, oh, a 35 to 17 victory. That's pretty decent. And they had 156 yards running. That's solid for the Oilers. 169 passing yards for them. 224 for me. 90% completion rate. Pretty sweet. Tim McGee with 102 yards uh, receive, uh, receiving. Yeah, that's what I want to say. That's the word I wanted. Guys, thank you so much for checking this one out. Hit a like and hit a subscribe and make sure you guys leave a comment. Thank you guys so much for all your continued support. And thank you guys so much for being yourselves and for being so awesome. As always, guys, take care of yourself and take care of others. And join me in week three. I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.